up for sale now at Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2007 Chevrolet Suburban LTZ two-wheel drive, black on the outside with gray leather interior, completely loaded up with factory navigation, color backup camera, factory power moonroof, factory DVD player, factory 20-inch polished wheels, HID lights, heated seats, power tailgate, four Michelin tires that are nearly brand new. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is your zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Also has rear parking sensors, a Class 3 heavy-duty towing package for all your towing needs, roof rack with crossbars that slide up and down the side rails, mud guards, set of uh, weather tech floor mats. Again, like you see, the tires are nearly brand new. We're going to finish going around. I've got the vehicle running just so I can show you the DVD player. Then we'll go ahead and um, get inside, show you all the interior options. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Let's start off by the back here. By the way, this is um, an eight passenger vehicle. It does have the mid row bench seat, which uh, most of these LTZs come with buckets, uh, but you lose the passenger when you do that. So right here now we got two in the front, three in the middle, it's a total of five, and three more in the rear for a total of eight. All right, there's your um, uh, factory DVD player. I don't know if you can see the front screen from here, but they're both playing the same movie. All right, we'll come back to the back in just a little bit. This is what I was telling you about the WeatherTech floor mats. You got WeatherTech floor mats in the front and in the middle. The door panels are two-tone gray, what they call light titanium and dark titanium. Of course, we got um, power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel. Um, got also a power folding mirrors. The front windows are one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the windows to go down. Let's go ahead and put them both down so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. The mirrors also have turn signal on them. And like I said to you before, they're power folding. All right. A manual tilt wheel. Bluetooth. Aftermarket, this is aftermarket Bluetooth. Uh, automatic headlights that come on a sunset and come off a sunrise. You got dual power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see he's in very good shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non smoker. Up in the top here, there's a little microphone for the Bluetooth. Uh, you got uh, airbags on the front post the middle post, and there's another airbag up in this post right here. All right, let me go ahead and get inside. Like I told you, it's got the uh, WeatherTech. These, these, are, these are pretty new. They only have maybe about a month in the vehicle. All right. There's your uh, movie there. Put the AC on, just nice and hot outside. We'll put it low enough so you can hear me talk. All right, so right there, you can you can play movies on your navigation screen as long as the vehicle is in park. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, switch to navigation. We're going to press audio here, and it's a touch screen. Uh, you can change it from, you can put go, go to XM if you like. It does have XM capability, but right now it's in preview mode because you have to sign up uh, with uh, XM by calling their, their number, that number there in your screen, or going to the website. FM and uh, AM over here and uh, to go back to DVD mode you would press here uh, but let's go ahead and put, the, put on the navigation press nav here so there's your factory navigation if we put the vehicle in reverse you get the uh, color backup camera and that along with the parking sensor should, hel should help you avoid any accidents when backing up alright uh, let's go to the moonroof so we can get even more light for the video 
It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but also has this hard cover here that blocks out the sun completely. All right, we're gonna press there, and it's a one touch, you don't have to hold it, okay? And it goes about three fourths of the way, then you press it one more time for it to go completely open. All right, um, let's start off from the right to the left. This is to tumble the middle row bench you see right there. So I'm gonna do just one side to show you. Press the button, and what it does, it, uh, it flips out of the way to give you nice and easy access to the third row. And then this one here does the other side of the bench. We're not gonna do them both. This is your power tailgate. You can open the power tailgate three different ways. By pressing here, Okay, from your remote control or by simply squeezing the tailgate handle as long as the vehicle is unlocked. To close it, we can press here again, the switch on the overhead console. You can do it all, close it also from the remote or by pressing the bottom on the, on the edge of the tailgate as I'll show you later. All right, um, back up here. This one here is to slide the sunroof. This one here is to vent it. As you'll notice, it lifts like from the back, okay, to give you a venting in case you smoke or something. Um, all right, this here is your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Map lights up in the top here. You got an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. On the upper right hand side of the uh, mirror, you got a compass and temperature readout. Let's just know pointing in, in, heading in the east direction and uh, that uh, the outside temperature now is 82 degrees. Uh, this vehicle is equipped with the Onster system. If you purchase this vehicle from us, you will get a 90 day free trial with the Onster and no cost to you. And let me tell you what Onster does for you. For example, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the Onster Center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you to the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond with a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, they provide you with a 24-hour number. You call that number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car um, to get it open, which should save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. All right, um, uh, let's go ahead and uh, listen to some music here. Let's put it on audio and let's put FM. All right, now you can raise or lower the volume right from here. Raise it here, lower it here, mute it here in the center. These buttons here, these are to navigate by your preset stations. Those are the ones that you sit down here yourself, which of course can be changed. This one here is your seek button, takes you to the next available station. This one here is your source button, and that helps you navigate from AM to FM to XM to DVD mode to auxiliary. And yes, it does have an auxiliary port here for your iPod. Um, uh, the, um, if you're um, if you hold down the mute button, that accesses your voice commands. You got cruise control on the left hand side of the vehicle. All right, the vehicle has 131, 137,000 miles. 131, 137. Uh, the car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine. 5.3 liter V8. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. Everything is running and working perfectly. All right, uh, let's see what else. Okay, let's start from the bottom up. Over here you got your uh, cup holders and this can be put in this position or over here and it's removable. So in case you spill soda, coffee, whatever, uh, you can take it outside, hit it with hose. And you don't have to bring any water inside the vehicle. All right, a couple of cigarette lighter adapters here for your chargers. Uh, power adjustable pedals. This feature allows you to move the pedals away from you or towards you, which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver. This one here is to disable your parking sensors. This one here is to disable your traction control. And this one here is for your rear window washer. You do have dual climate control. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the passenger side, let's say, at uh, 70 degrees. And all that really does is it makes the AC vents on the right hand side of the vehicle blow at 70 degrees, while the ones on the left hand side of the vehicle will blow at 60 or whatever it, it is you set it to. All right, um, let's see here. All right, let's continue on here. Okay, on your door, you have a couple of things going on there. This is to heat the entire seat. It goes right to maximum. If you press it again, it goes to medium. One more time for low and one more time for off. And this one does the exact same thing as this, except that one only heats the backrest and not the entire seat. This is to, to a memory for up to um, 
the two drivers. Okay. All right. Uh, in the center console here, where you rest your elbow, you get a little tray over here. This is where you usually a good place for your cell phone. Now, if you're gonna open up here, you want to grab your cell phone because it's gonna flip that back. And here you got uh, the DVD control and a couple of uh, headphones for your. Uh, so you can listen to your uh, your DVD back there. Your main glove box. It's over here. And in there is your owner's manual with his casing and all the supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. All right. Um, in the uh, back of the, uh, in the, at the end of your shifter lever, you got your towing haul mode. You press that, and a yellow wagon is going to display on your tachometer to let you know you're in towing haul mode, which disables the overdrive and makes the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra cargo load. When you're done towing, press it again. Yellow wagon goes away. You're back into normal shifting. This vehicle does have... Um, the active fuel management, which uh, uh, when you're on the highway, it turns off cylinders at times to make you uh, to help you save in money and fuel. All right, um, your onboard computer is right here. This is uh, for your trip settings, uh, personal settings, and system check, and that's all going to display right in here when you start uh, uh, activating and using it. All right, um, we're pretty much done up with the front here. I think we're ready to move on to the back. Let's go ahead and pan over the passenger seating area one last time and then we'll move on to the middle and to the uh, rear row section of the vehicle. I try to cover as much as I can in these videos. If I miss something, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. This vehicle also has remote start, which simply means that you, if you lock up the vehicle, you can press and hold the little circle at the top of your remote and the car will start right up. This comes in, uh, it's real, uh, it comes in real handy, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot outside. As long as you had the air conditioning on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the AC, and it'll cool down the car for you. And the winter, the opposite. As long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the heater, and when it reaches enough temperature, it'll warm up uh, the car for you. Okay, left rear door panel, two-tone gray, same thing with the wood trimming, just like in the front. This vehicle is equipped with the child lock protection. I'll show you how that goes. You stick your key in here, give it a half a twist to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, twist it back to the right and this handle will start working again. Okay, not only are the, um, the seats in the front uh, heated, but also these uh, the whole middle row seat is heated. You press it here for the left side, here for the right side. You do have AC controls here. You can control the fan speed, where it flows, how cold or hot you want it. Um, the, they can also control the turn on the stereo on and off seek forward seek backwards They can change the source which is your uh, going from AM to FM to XM and the um, uh, The programming which are your preset stations um, Auxiliary ports here for your uh, headphones. You got a video input here So if you can power it through this uh, cigarette ladder adapter, you can watch it right up here All right, this pops open into a cup holder All right Okay you have anchors for your baby car seat in all three positions here. You got two anchors here, two more anchors in the center. You can actually see these better. And uh, two more on that side over there. Um, if you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this down and use it as a uh, cup holder or armrest. Okay. Now, if you want to make the seat uh, flip, you don't, have, you, you don't have to use the switches up there. There's a switch here in the side. So if I press here, the seat would do the exact same motion as that one. And you got a switch for that one over there too. Up in the top here, you got a set of AC vents for the middle row passengers, another set of AC vents for the rear row passengers, a set of map lights, and up in the front here, in this DVD, there's an integrated map light. All you got to do is push on here or the other side. All right, let's go ahead and uh, open the cargo area. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. All the emblems have plenty of color on them. You got a rear wiper, rear window defroster, which are your little orange lines inside the glass. To open up back here, you squeeze the tailgate. There's a, hand, there's a little switch right there. Of course, the car has to be uh, unlocked for that. You also got the weather tech mat back here. Um, another set of uh, cigarette light adapter here, one here, so you can charge your phone right from back here. This is a 50-50 bench in the rear, and there's several things you can do with this vehicle, with the seat. If you want to just flip the backrest down so you can put stuff on top of it, you pull up on the handle over there, the seat back will flip down. If you want to go into cargo mode without removing the seat, after you pull up on handle number one, there's another handle right here. You pull up on that handle, and then what the seat's going to do is going to lift from the back to the front, 
and get out of the way and stay right up to the back of the center row seat. If you want to remove the seat to go into full cargo mode, after you pull up on handle number one, the backrest will go down and you grab that gray handle in the center, you pull it toward you and the seat will come out. And because it's a 50-50 independent bench seat, it means you can do one side and not the other. So if you want to use the seating capacity on this side, for example, put a large box over here, you can do this seat and not that one, okay? Or you can do them both at the same time. All right, now to close the tailgate, like I said before, you can press here. All right. Uh, in the back, uh, on the rear bumper, you get uh, those little round circles that you see there. That is, um, those are your parking sensors. There are two on each side of the vehicle. Those are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object. A class three heavy duty towing package there uh, with your electrical connection there ready to go for all your towing needs. Right rear tail light. All right, let's come around to the passenger side. Right rear door panel, same way, two tone gray with the wood trimming. Of course, we got the child lock protection on this side as well. And uh, the um, this we got the full uh, weather tech package here. Not only do you have in the front in the front here of the middle row seat and all around the seat and in the cargo area in the back. So to gain access to the third row is nice and easy. Oops, somebody left a little, this just looks like a bag of dominoes or something. Let's put that over here for now. All right, um, all right, so uh, in the back here you can put up to three passengers, all right? Give you another look at the headliner. Like I said before, you get curtain side airbags on the rear post here, all right? Let's pan over the area up there in the top so you can see that there are no stains, cuts, tears, or burn holes. All right, so um, so now you've got the seat up. Now to put it back down, you have to push it down manually. Come down here, you push, lift up here, and you're back onto passenger mode, nice and easy, okay? All right, let's come around to the passenger front. Right front door panel, same way. On the front door panels, you have a little pocket here in the side and a bottle holder here. And like I said before, you have also power seat, power recline, and lumbar support, not just on the driver's side, but as you can see also on the passenger side. All right, let's go ahead and pan over this last front, uh, front seat here just one last time. Uh, and uh, and um, before we conclude the video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the homepage at the top, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this video. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.